Hey guys, how's it going? And you may be wondering why I'm showing my phone right here instead of starting on the review. But uh, before we jump into that, I wanna to talk to you really quick about this app that I've been using. It's called K-Drama Amino. Basically, it's its own little social network. Uh, you can see here, this is like the uh, news feed. You can post anything, GIFs, videos, polls, comments. You can even send private messages. And you can basically just talk about anything K-drama related with other people that are into the same kind of stuff. I've actually asked some questions on my profile, asking people to point out some good K-dramas that are currently on Netflix. So it's a really cool app. If you're into K-dramas, I would definitely recommend it. I think you'll enjoy it. The app is a free download. It's available for Android and iOS. So most people's phones are supported if you've got a device that runs any of those operating systems. And if you do try the app, make sure to look for MRJ on there. That's my account and make sure to come say hi. Hey everybody, I'm back with another music video reaction slash review, and this one is called Borders by Amber. Of course, Amber is from FX. That's one of my favorite K-pop groups. Actually, that's the first K-pop group along with SNSD that I ever saw. So I've always followed the members closely throughout the years, and it's really cool to see what they come out with next. From her social media postings, it looks to me like Amber had a lot of involvement in like what was going on behind the scenes with making this song and the music video. So I'm really excited to check it out. Let's jump right in. Cause mom said I've been crossing borders Never be afraid, even when you're cornered Stand up straight, fight your way Fight your way, fight your way Right off the bat, this is giving me a much more like American music kind of vibe. Um, almost a little bit of like Paramore. All these people here staring and looking at me, shaking their heads, eyes stand strong on me. What's wrong with me? Can you tell me now? What's wrong with me? Can you tell me now? The anger, the cruelty, I deserve it. And I do anything to be what they call perfect. Then maybe I can find a place to call my own and belong. But if only I was strong, I'd be walking with my eyes down. It's a really, really intense kind of like snare slash cowbell sound they're using. Sonic palette going on here with all the backing Stand up, uh, synthesizers and everything else. Really good like tonal selection and all those. But surely I begin jumping trains because I know I can win. Or oh, fear not because I know I'm in his hands. Though I can't see, I know there's a plan. So thick the fog, but I know I can trust the feelings that I feel when the road's rough. I gotta be tough with my eyes down, eyes down, eyes down. Strong in my stance when my they also used like the um, space left in the mix for a really great effect. Here in the chorus, everything gets really filled in with kind of ambient sounds and like pads and everything else in the background. Um, for the pre-chorus and like building up to it, it kind of is like a, a mix between filled in and not filled in. And then in the verses, it's like really stripped down. There's a lot of sonic space. Um, that's really allowing you to focus on the vocals. So that was a really cool touch. singing lead. I've always really liked her singing voice. Cool pan. 
panning going on here. That's a cool little effect. It feels like the drums are like swirling around your head, especially if you're wearing, you know, headphones. And it looks like that's it. So this was another SM station release. I think that project is really cool. I do like the fact that it's giving us some interesting collaborations, uh, some different outlets for music from some of our favorite artists, and the fact that they're doing some different kinds of music than what they traditionally put out with all of their groups. So this song is no exception. This is not really a track that I would expect FX to do as a group. You know, it's just a really good solo track for Amber. It makes a lot of sense for her. Uh, you can tell that she put a lot into this. It's really meaningful to her. It's something that it looks like she worked really, really hard on. And I definitely think she should be proud of the result. You know, it came across really, really well. You know, the English lyrics kind of different, really cool. The whole stylistic feeling of the song reminds me of a couple years back, um, a certain like subgenre of American music. There are some songs that came out that kind of remind me of this. And that's not a bad thing at all. It's just interesting kind of where she was drawing, you know, inspiration and influence from. And as I talked about already, the kind of space or lack of space in the song was used really, really effectively. You know, the verses are very stripped down, kind of exposed vocals, makes you focus on the vocals. That's obviously the intention. Then kind of leading into the chorus, you know, before the chorus, it fills in, you know, about halfway. You start hearing some other things like filling in the backing track, filling those empty spaces, if you know what I'm talking about. And then once we hit the chorus, there's a lot of kind of smooth, ambient, filling kind of sounds going on that really help to make the total sound of the mix very full, very rich. And there's not a whole lot of sonic space like left. You know, everything is filled in right behind those vocals. So it gives the listener the kind of feeling of being like very alone and then very immersed in sound and kind of going back and forth and playing between those two feelings. And with the lyrics and everything else, I think that kind of push and pull back and forth feeling really fit the overall concept of the song and they accomplished it really well. So let's go ahead and jump back into this song, see what else we can find in the mix. Here we go. Cause mom said I've been crossing borders, never be afraid. One of the things you'll notice, um, well, one of the things I really noticed was the amount of layering in the vocal parts. Um, she's singing along with herself, you know, multiple times, layered over and over in the studio. And that's what gives that kind of like chorus effect of having multiple singers, even though it's just her. Um, and they really, really effectively use that technique throughout this entire song. You'll notice here it's just like a single vocal. What's wrong with me? Can you tell me now? With some of those accents that come in and they're panned really wide. And do anything to be what they call perfect. Then maybe I can find a place to call my own and belong. But if only I was strong, I'd be walking with my eyes down. Then here you got multiple layers going on. I'll keep my eyes down, eyes down. Then they stack multiple layers, multiple harmonies, everything else, and the vocal gets really, really dense. It's a really cool, like, stacking effect. hear all the really like smooth kind of synth tones just filling in the background that's what I was talking about before fall down up again up against the pressure I'm in slowly but surely I begin jumping trains cuz I know I can win and hear how they got that hype track where they're doubling her vocal for like extra impact, extra emphasis. Really cool vocal techniques, and there's a large variety of them going on throughout this song. With my eyes down, eyes down, eyes down. Strong in my stance with my eyes. I do like the combination here of rapping and singing, and it's both her, but two different recordings, you know. And then we're back to singing in the bridge, which is really nice. I really like her voice. I've always liked her voice. Even though I like her rapping, I feel like she's been like pushed to just do rapping sometimes. And we don't always get to hear her singing voice, which is something I do miss. So I really liked how they let that shine in this song. I do hear some... Uh, there's some low end in the chorus, it kind of fills in. Um, some parts in the rest of the song, I felt like it just wasn't super huge sounding. And that's not really a bad thing, but 
um, having it kind of pulled back for the rest and then really filling in in the chorus with that low end uh, in the mix and the master, that's a really cool technique too. Just gives you a feeling of like something being resolved and coming together. Nice little vocal ad libs, riffs, that's cool. And check how this is like spinning. And this song overall uses a ton of delay effects, a ton of reverb effects. You can hear those pretty much throughout the entire song. And that kind of helps to give it that overall sense of space. You know, each element has its own kind of delay, kind of ping-ponging, kind of bouncing around in what sounds like three-dimensional space. The same thing with the reverbs. It gives you the feeling like you're hearing the vocal or maybe some of the drum parts, you know, out in like a big room and you're hearing it reverberate around. And I've been talking about it a lot, but I think that space, uh, sonic space, and a feeling of like physical space created by that was definitely a big theme and focal point in crafting this song because they definitely put a lot of work into making that all happen. So anyway, I really did enjoy this song. I think Amber did an amazing job. What did you guys think about this music video and song? Do you like the English? Do you like the overall stylistic differences from most of the rest of K-pop? Let me know what you guys think and it'll be really interesting to hear. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this music video reaction slash review. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you could share this video all over the place, Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter forums, and anywhere else. All that stuff really helps me out, and I'll see you guys next time.